Readings, JDS, Panzer Campaigns players to my discussion on Artificial Intelligence. The player can utilise aspects of the AI to help uh, in movement and firing of units. The 12 November 2020 user manual details this on page 48. The main point to remember at this stage is that AI orders are normally issued at the divisional level. A quick review of unit selection. When a unit is selected, it has the yellow band around it. When it is activated, it has the red band around it. This is important to note when you're using AI orders. At this stage, we have the 60th motorized division selected and we select the reachable hexes button. By activating the headquarter unit it shows the hexes that the unit can reach in deployed mode. AI mode uses transport mode so select transport mode for the headquarters unit. The maximum range for transport is then highlighted. With the headquarters unit activated identify a destination hex, select ALT and then right mouse button in the destination hex. Arrows appear to confirm the movement has been registered. Note in this instance there are three red arrows. This is because there are three headquarter units in the 60th motorized division and these are listed in the AI order dialog. These orders can be activated at any time by going to the AI menu and selecting activate AI orders. Note that some units will not be able to reach the destination target because they don't have enough movement points. I cannot imagine many players would want to select a division and move it uh, in this type of crude fashion. But it can be useful for moving uh, an individual regiment of a division. Uh, for instance, in this example, we'll move the 92nd Schutzen Regiment to a particular location. Once again, we select so it has the red band around it. Reachable hexes, transport mode, Identify the destination hex, ALT and right mouse button. Note that the three arrows are still selected. So what we'll do in this case is we'll delete the 60th Infantry Motorized Division and the 120th Schutzen Regiment and then activate the AI order. So it is a little long-winded, but it does give you individual control over the regiments in each division. Because of the structure of the German divisions, this technique is usually only applicable to them. Uh, the Soviets generally only had the one headquarters per division. In the example here, I then go on to move the 120th Schutzen Regiment and the 60th Motorized Division separately to show uh, how you could possibly deploy a German division.
Note in this example that the 60th motorised division has 37 transport movement points left to expend. Now this is a problem for any type of AI movement is that if a unit uh, in front uh, gets stopped or runs out of movement points it can then cause a, a bank up of units behind it and you have to then individually check the units behind to see if uh, they can move further. So in this case the leading unit ran out of movement points. In the upcoming example I use immediate AI movement. The only difference being is the unit is selected not activated. So the unit is selected destination hex alt right mouse button and away that uh, group goes immediately. I don't need to go to the AI menu and activate it. And that is the, the main difference between pref uh, deferred and immediate. Players new to the series should not only get used to the user manual, become familiar with it, but also with the F4 parameters dialog. Uh, in the uh, dialog, there are all the factors that pertain uh, to the game. Now, not all these factors will be applicable to every scenario or the scenario that you're playing, but it'll include things like combat factors for the hex and the hex sides. Uh, movement factors for moving through hexes or over hex sides uh, which have rivers, uh, roads etc. So you don't have to memorize this detail, just know that it's there and when you need to extract that last combat factor of defense uh, you'll be able to do that or extract that last uh, movement point. So very important to become familiar with this dialogue if you want to play this game well. So let's summarize AI movement. So this headquarters unit, as you can see, these are all the units in this Russian division. So first off, we're going to do a deferred AI movement. So we select a unit of the division. is activated. Select a target destination, alt right click, and the blue arrow comes up. If we want we can then activate AI orders and it all happens as advertised. although some units will still have movement points. In this example we have three units of a division that are contiguous and we're going to use immediate AI movement. Select the unit, only select not activate, destination hex, alt, right mouse button and those three units move to the destination in transport mode. So there you go, I hope this has been uh, 
of interest to you. Uh, there is not much in the way of uh, reading in the manual about AI orders, but I encourage you to do that and experiment. Uh, I wouldn't really encourage AI firing, uh, but I think if this is one of those utilities, you just have to experiment and find what suits you. I tend to use immediate AI orders, but don't use deferred very much at all. But I encourage you to experiment. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.